Well, we're out with uh, East Anglia diggers today. Uh, Norman or earlier church fields. There's England's history there. He's just been giving the boys some settings. They won't find nothing now today. Yeah, I've nabbed them all. <laughs> yeah, and they've got a great setup. And what 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 are you after today, mate? A bit of Saxon. Hammered. Hammered. Saxon yeah. gold. Yeah. yeah. Same nice. here, mate. <laughs> cool. So yeah, got a big job to do today, kids. We've got to make contact with the Saxon gods. All right, you puffs. Oh, haven't you banned? Haven't you banned this fella yet? He finds too much good stuff. The the leg end himself, apparently. All right, buddy. Stephen. Much better seeing you anyway, mate. And uh, what, what are you after today here? Hammered. Gold. Any old hammered? Yeah, any <laughs> old hammered. Any, any old, old hammered. hammered. <laughs> any old line, Just catching up with Tecton Sid. And he's on the Romans. He's got a lovely fibula. And the wind noise is here, so I'll overdub this. <laughs> uh, I'm just catching up with Matty, and he's on the Vanquish. And uh, he's got this piece of a hammer, it could be Henry III or someone. Actually, it doesn't look like Henry III. So there, there's Matty's vanquish. There's Matty. Hey. He's on the hammer. Well done, mate. Cheers, buddy. Just ca catching up with camera shy Stuart. <laughs> and uh, he's got... It's uh, gold gilded, but it's heavily gold gilded. We think this is an annular brooch, medieval annular brooch. Oh, well done, mate. Top find. Just catching up with Steve, and he's got this Roman bird brooch that probably would have had enamel or gilding or yeah, something. Yeah, mate, look at back it with the glass. It's got a little bit of red enamel around it. Yeah. Beautiful Roman bird brooch. Well done, Steve. Cheers, mate. On the uh, look, he's got his bird brooch. Look, let me show them your tattoo. Look. He's got, we go. got a match, almost matching tattoo. <laughs> it's brought him luck on the Romans. Roman brooch. Well done, Steve. Nice one, mate. Cheers. Just catching up with Graham. And on the last <laughs> left, he's got a rose farthing. And he's got a bit of a battered hammy there. Looks like it might be pierced, that, actually. So, well done, Graham. Thank you. Top East Anglia digger. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, happy days there. <laughs> Catching up with Darren again, and he's got, do you reckon, a medieval strap on, do you think? Yeah, I think it's pretty acorn, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the acorn on the top. Oh, yeah. Look at that lovely pattern. Well done, Darren. Turning yes. out to be a top yeah. East Anglian digger again here. We've yeah. got one. <laughs> happy days. He's on his knocks, though. On the knocks. Still a happy day, though. Yeah. <laughs> Catching up with Daniel and he's got half of a groat. Half of a big old groat. So some other ancient history coming to light here today. Always good to see. Just catching up with Steve who, who was out with yesterday. He's got this gorgeous be medi medieval beehive thimble. That's got good age to it, that thimble. I love it. Nice one, that one. There's another hammy I haven't dug yet, kids, but Richard's on it. <laughs> Top East Anglia digger again. He's got a nice, probably a Lizzie. And the reason we think it's Lizzie, it's because it's warm blank and nobody liked that and they used to rub her portraits off the coins. One of the reasons for that was the armada that she, well, when they fought in the Spanish armada against them, she didn't pay any of the sailors, so you can't blame them for like rubbing, rubbing her face off. But uh, there's Richard's face, that'll do. Well done, mate. Catching up with Alan, and it's his first day out of now what is like pretty much a classic. You know, it's getting on a little bit now, the race of two, but it's a classic. I've still got one. His settings are pretty bang on. I've just knocked the, uh, the gain up to 80 and see how he gets on with it. Race of two, Alan. Happy days. Happy days on the race of two. <laughs> Well, good luck with that iconic machine, mate. It certainly stood me in good stead. Thanks, Stephen. Great. I was just taking a look at James' finds, and he's got an interesting uh, 
William the Third, sixteen ninety six or ninety seven thereabouts. Love token on the left. It's been counter stamped with some initials. Always interesting to see things like that. And he's got a small um, Elizabeth, probably tuppence. So well done, James. Sorry I had to overdub you, but it was windy, mate. I need to find a, a windsock jammer for this uh, phone, kid. He's <laughs> catching up with Mark, and he's uh, just getting to learn his uh, orcs today. And he's on the silver with it. Thanks, Well done, Mark. Time for a bacon butty. Not for me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just catching up with Gordon, and he's got this lovely, probably 1600s, usually around the 1660s and that traders token we're not sure what town it's come from yet but it's beautiful absolutely beautiful well done buddy oh you zoomed in there that's better <laughs> cut well well done mate on the bacon sandwiches all right we're just at the grub hut and tracy showed me what is uh, we think it's an annular brooch it's very cool and you can see it's got a lot of age to it it's all going on here well, well done with your annular brooch so I'm out with, come here a minute Sid, come here, stand here, yeah. out with Sid, all weekend, courtesy of Cheryl, the who legend. runs East Anglia Diggers, Sid's one of them puffy YouTubers, he's brought loads of stickers and a fines box for Cheryl as a little present, me, you know what I'm like, I, 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 uh, right, Cheryl, She's had us out for well, she's getting us out tomorrow. And tomorrow, as well. yeah, good as gold. What I'm gonna do, because they've shown me all this, like you know, kindness, I'm gonna put a competition on my Facebook. Oh, god help you. Gonna put it <laughs> wi wide open as soon as we get onto some good land shortly with Sid. One of our viewers, whoever you might be in the country who wins, is coming out with me and Sid for the day on good land because Cheryl's been so yeah. nice to us. She has looked after us big time. You gotta pay it, pay it forward, innit? It Everything should pay forward. Isn't it? Just catching up with the legend that is Eddie Bagley again. <laughs> I asked him ten minutes ago if he'd found out anything, and he hadn't. And he's just coming up with all these amazing finds. He's got a lovely short cross there, so that'll be best part of a thousand years old. Hey, Eddie's uh, kindly gifted me a load of vintage uh, magazines. You got, you got. Sid Perry's dad there, Phil Fragg's dad, October 1982. That's sink or swim, they're called. You've got Miss Blackpool rocking a coin, coin Master 8000 and a few other bits that she's rocking. You've got flares on that kid. There's, uh, I think that might be Nigel Redston. That's March 1982. I don't know who he is. Sure that wasn't you back in the day, Eddie? <laughs> oh, that's 1990. <laughs> Wow, well cool. Love it, Eddie. Brilliant gift. And I will go through them and she's rocking some nice bits too. <laughs> right, as all my viewers know, I lost my wife in June. Dear, dear Rachel. Eddie and some of the other East Anglian diggers are having a mass for her this Tuesday. Is it Tuesday, isn't yeah, it? Tuesday 10 at 10 o'clock. In their own local churches in, in Great Yarmouth. And, and here's, here's the card all made out for the mass. And I will be at Gre Rachel's graveside, corresponding time for the mass, and I'll lay some flowers at a grave for East Anglia diggers. That's very touching, that Eddie. But very, very nice touch there, mate. You're welcome, mate. Right, I'm just catching up with Jack. Look what this is, this, do you reckon this is off, off the pommel of a sword, so that would have been up by the top, by the handle, with the Technetics T2. Very powerful, easy machine to set up, and if you go over it with that you'll find it. Well, well done Jack. Nice one. Sid's on a uh, gold cufflink, uh, silver cufflink I mean, and, uh, or even a button possibly that, but it's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. Similar ones are attributed to around the Charles I era. Well done, Sydney. Cheers, Nugget. The, uh, the evening meal at the top restaurant's on you tonight. Who <laughs> paid for it last night? You did get the cornice up, but hopefully, if we do go for a meal or not, I'll have to sort it. Hopefully, they'll let me wash up or something. Yeah. 
Oh, I could wash your car if you want me to. I do want you to. We'll do that then, call it quick. Right. Just catching up with Sid, he's just popped this lovely Norwich farm and it says A Norwich Farthing 1667. It's got a wonderful coat of arms with the lions on the it might, it might be, no, it's, it looks a bit like a castle, yeah, castle with a lion underneath. That'll oh, stand for castle, Norwich, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. I haven't found nothing today, so do you have a fibula and that lovely token? And you know how much I love them tokens, and I never find them. Can, can I have that one? <laughs> right, on, on the left there is an Elizabeth, is it the sixpences aren't they? Shillings. Shillings. Uh, a Lizzie sixpence that Darren's found, and on the right, that beautiful portrait Lovely, of Mark's really nice. Lizzie sh shilling. Absolute yeah, stunning. Yeah, they are. But that Italian Bangers. Is that what you find over there, yeah? Bangers. Darren, you know what you got to do now? This is Anglo Celtic. you got to give us a hammy jig. Come on, give us a little cheek. Hey, <laughs> well done, lads. Stephen, he showed me this interesting item. Initially, I was thinking possibly Roman brooch, but uh, we're not actually sure. We don't think it's probably that old, but uh, still, nonetheless, it's interesting. Part of a medieval buckle pin. I had three fields today. This is the third one, and they're all church fields because all three of them surround that, this church which dates back pre-Norman. I'm just not finding today, not, not the mega cool stuff that the other lucky diggers have had, but I'll keep going, because you just never know whether it'll be your last signal of the day. Just catching up with Lee, and he's got this lovely, complete crotal bell. It's got a pattern on and that, just need a bit of a clean up. Well, that's a lovely crotal bell, that. Well done, Lee. Thank you. On the, on the crotal bells. I just can't buy a good find today, but you just never know, do you? That was like me last weekend. I didn't yeah. find nothing. Coming up to the last hour or so now, I'm just changing fields again. I bumped into Tommy, and he's got a beautiful short cross. I like it a lot, and I just wish I'd, I had one too. Boom! Well done, Tommy. Cheers. To Tommy Gunn. Just looking at this lovely, uh, what was it, Lizzie? Half-grote 2p. Lizzie half-grote 2 pence and Chris the discriminator, he's dug this yet again. Anglo-Celtic is filming other people's hammers. Right, and Chris uh, changed onto his CTX. He's got the absolute big boomer with, what size coil is it? 17 big boy inches. So he's 17 inches pulled up that nice Lizzie. Well done Chris. Oh, that's my little day that is. I want a hammer though. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't rub him. We've both had a cistercius just now. I had one yesterday. Sid's had one and he's ordered me not to rub it. Give me a <laughs> thumbs up or in the comments tell me if I should rub it next time and he tells me not to. <laughs> and I'll just put a bit of snot on it for him next time if that's what the viewers want. I've got some sweat beyond me here. Do I actually use that? I'm lathered in sweat from finding not all day, Sid. What, what do you make of it? What's going on with me today? Uh, I reckon it's down to uh, not the coronavirus, but the Corona Lager last night. There was a lot of expensive beer drunk by me last night. You were on the fizzy pop. Well, I had about uh, 14 litres of Coca Cola. Yeah, it's <laughs> teetotal, Sid. Can't have a sniff of a shandy or a bite your ears off. Yeah. Room service on you, Sid. This is, this is just outrageous behaviour. What do you think you are, a metal detecting rock star? <laughs> TV will be going out the window next. I'll just go out. England's history, do not describe to this guy who trusts his hotel rooms, kids. Rock and roll, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all but I'm going to do... Now, what I'm trying to do, because I feel sorry for you, so I'm getting all my bits, and you, I'm not going to let you have them, because you haven't found nothing for two days. Just give me that fucking uh, Norwich Farben immediately. Where is it? <sighs> if you can... Hey, if just, you can... just give me all of that. <laughs> Some stuff in there, mate. Poor.